Joni D and Little Joan here with a hot take on G4. The G4 controversy, which is just about over. Just about over. And the woman at the heart of the controversy, known as Frosk. F R O S K. Frosk. Froskin. Froskin is like her whole strange name. Froskurin. I don't know. Is that her last name? I, I don't know. But they're short for Frosk. Um, Clownfish TV did a, a great video on this, drilling down. And they, they, did, they drilled down pretty good, I thought. And they were saying, oh, we don't know everything about it. We haven't really been following it. Uh, if, they, if they say that, after all the information they had on their video, what the hell do I know? But I, will, I did want to add one thing to the conversation. So for those of you who don't know, Frosk was this host on G4. They relaunched G4 TV. It was a video game channel back in the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, late 90s, early 2000s. And it was aimed, I think, appropriately at men because men play video games. And back in the good old days of the 90s and 2000s, the TV people didn't say, oh, well, we've got to be woke and wonderful and talk about politics and gender identity. No. They just said, men watch, men play video games, men are going to watch this TV show, what do we put on it? Oh yeah, hot chicks. And so they did. They had Olivia Munn, and I forget the other woman, who were super smoking hot and did a lot of crazy things on the show. It was a fun channel. Yes, they did some things like uh, they had a bit where like Olivia Munn is trying to trying to grab a hot dog with her mouth and chasing it on a string and you know, modeled bikinis and all kinds of crazy stuff, right? That, I would love a show like that, and I did. I, I would tune in. Now, the moment Olivia Munn started talking about video games, I just would shut down and go, oh, God, she didn't know anything about video games. I, I didn't believe her cred, uh, but I like looking at her. She's easy on the eyes. She still is. Um, so that was the channel. It was aimed at men, so they did men entertainment well they relaunched the channel and for some crazy reason they've decided oh no video games aren't for men even though mostly men play them even though women kind of don't are there women into video games yeah they say they're into video games just like women say they're into sports they say they're into a lot of things they usually say it because oh the boyfriend is into it or the husband is into it or I want to get a boyfriend or a husband. So I'm going to say I'm into these things, even though I just merely tolerate them. Now, are some women genuinely interested in sports, genuinely into video games? Yeah, a tiny minority of women. Most women, if you've ever met women, like relationships. They like shoes. They like brunch. They like flowers and feminine things and there's nothing wrong with that there's also nothing wrong with the women who buck the trends and they like cigars and football or whatever there's nothing wrong with any of it but let's be honest the majority of the women do not play video games they do not read comics they're not in the sports they kind of tolerate it so here you've got frost and now my understanding is and i have a limited understanding and this is all just my opinion but they hire new hosts for the new show in 2022, G4. And what does Frost do? Like on her, one of her early shows, she comes out and does this rant about feminism, about how the guys are trash and they treat women like objects and you got to stop and you got to read a book about feminism and blah, blah, blah. Now, this is the day and age I think the producers thought that would fly because they're following the current playbook, which is, oh, let's do all this woke bullshit. Everybody will get mad at us, but the real fans will adore us for it. And we all know, according to them, the real fans are on Twitter. Even though they don't watch things, they don't buy things, they're just there on Twitter to virtue signal, these guys in L.A. eat that stuff up. They're lazy, stupid idiots in my view, lazy, stupid idiots who have locked onto this trend and are holding for dear life and going down with the trend. 
and that couldn't happen to a nicer group of people. I hope everybody who has decided to take their cue from Twitter loses their career, loses all their money, and leaves the entertainment industry forever because you deserve nothing less. Now, that all being said, why did they put Frost on and have her go on a feminist rant, have her cut her hair in a butch haircut? You see her picture here. This is her Twitter account. She's got a very nice haircut. She's very cute. She's a cute girl. Um, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with her butch haircut either. But you see her hair here, and then you see her butch haircut on the show. Why did they do that? Because they wanted to make her angry feminist girl who's going to turn the, the, the video game industry from a boys club to a girls club because girls are powerful. Blah, 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 blah. And that's what's hot and trendy. And we're going to be hot and trendy. And we'll tell all our hipsters' friends how we turn G4 into a woman's paradise. Yeah, how'd that work out? Didn't work out so well. Uh, the word is, at least from Clownfish and some other YouTubers, that the people at Comcast who financed this fiasco uh, lost their damn minds when they heard the fan backlash, which was massive. Frosk, at first, seemed to say, oh, I'll, uh, I'll go on YouTube shows and I'll, I'll discuss this openly and defend my position, and then apparently just bailed out on every... I, I haven't seen a single YouTube show where she went on to address any of this. She was supposedly going to go on the quartering and then never never followed through. With good reason. She would have been decimated. I, now, I don't think Jeremy would have treated her poorly, but I think, I think there was no good spin on this. She went on a TV show that was aimed ostensibly at males, uh, lectured them about feminist... BS that no one in the entertainment industry, no one in the video game industry certainly wants to hear other than the handful of zealots they've hired and uh, destroyed destroyed the relaunch of this brand. I mean, this brand is all but dead thanks to this relaunch, this terrible, terrible relaunch. And um, Frost has just kind of disappeared. She's kind of been pushed off the front page it looks like they're continuing the rebrand G4 to get away from what happened. Maybe they're going to keep her around. I don't know. But I promise you, and this is my one grain of, of, of thought on this. This is my take on what would have happened had Frost been hired in 2002. If Frost had been hired in 2002, she wouldn't have gotten a haircut. She would have dropped 10 pounds toned up, started working out, and would have shown up within three or four episodes in a bikini, giggling like a schoolgirl and looking like a hot chick, which she probably is. <laughs> she probably is hot. Never mentioning her sexuality at all, because it would have all been about titillating the audience, which are men. That's what I think. I think she was... So in her defense for her ridiculous rant, it was probably all the producer's idea. It sounds like she didn't have a say on nothing, she says. That she was a hired hand. She said, this is the character we're going with. You're going to be Frost, the angry feminist gamer girl who's going to teach the boys a lesson. And she went, oh, okay, sure. That's my character? Fine. She's an actress or a host or whatever. Is part of that true? I'm sure part of it's true. But look at, again, look at her hair. And then look at her, go look at her butch haircut in the video. Here, she looks like hot, sexy girl that you'd hire to be in a TV show. You'd hire to be on NC NCIS or Law & Order to be the hot new hotshot lawyer girl who's on the other side of the bench. This is what actors and actresses do. They take on roles. In this case, it's a little different of a role because it's not strictly acting. Not in a classical sense. Not in a narrative sense. It's an acting job as a host. And that's probably how the producers saw her persona. They're going to say, we're going to create this persona because this is hot. Oh, yeah, everybody's into feminism right now. Oh, yeah, Seth, Seth Rogen's doing a whole feminist uh, Santa Inc. special. I hear it's going to be great. That's, that's because these guys live in that bubble. Oh, Seth Rogen's doing it? Well, we got to do it too. Oh, Sarah Silverman's doing it? Oh, well, we got to do it too. Everybody's doing it. And they sold this, unfortunately, to the guys at Comcast who are now like, 
what the F happened? We're losing all our viewers on YouTube. Uh, everybody's screaming at us. They still hate us. No one's watching this thing. We relaunch and you get less viewers? Not only that, it's like they had a library of content from 10 years ago that I assume they bought when they bought G4. They could have kept that content on forever. I mean, I'm a big fan of Tosh.0. That show's been off the air a while now. Every once in a while, I still watch their videos. That makes money on YouTube. It still gets thousands of hits. Some of that still holds up. It's still very funny. Some of it I missed. So, I mean, Olivia Munn it, prattling around in a bikini, that's still gold. That'll still be gold 20 years from now. So, you know, you go in a complete opposite direction just because that's the trend, just because that that's, uh, uh, oh, we got to separate ourselves from the old show? No. No. Not always the answer dummies. In fact, it's usually not the answer. From a fan perspective, you want to bring the old fans back? There are no new fans for this feminism crap. None. There's a handful of angry women out there who love feminism. They don't play video games. They're too busy sitting in their lesbian bookstores talking about communism. They're not interested in playing video games. If they were in the video games, they'd be into the old show. They would have grown up on it and loved it, just like people who run video games. But there are ideologues in Hollywood now, and they think they know, they not only think they can uh, manipulate us into what we like, but they could sell you this show as it is now, or as Frost presented it, and you're going to love it, because you have no choice. We're the gatekeepers here. You have to watch this. No, we don't. No, we don't. And I'll tell you something else. Even when there were gatekeepers back in the TV days, when there was a situation where you had three channels, and if the three channels had a TV show a certain kind of way and that was it, you know what people would do? Not watch TV. That is an option. It is an option to not watch any of this crap. And that's what these people have forgotten. They're so insulated from the regular workaday people. As a guy who plays video games, I have zero interest in Frost feminist BS. Now, I'm not the age range for video games, although I still play too many video games, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, uh, I grew up on these things, and I never once sat in an arcade hitting the buttons going... You know, I wonder how Gloria Steinem feels about this Space Invaders game. It's just not something that intersects, no matter how much you force it. It's not about race. It's not about gender. It's not about women. It's just about having a good time playing games. So, bring back Bikini Girls, or shut the F up, G4, is my response to you. Otherwise, you get woke and you go broke. And that's my rant. I don't know why I wanted to do one on Frost. I, it was pretty much a dead issue, but after I watched that thing on Clownfish, I had to say, I'm 100% convinced that if Frost was doing this show back in the 90s, oh, I'm going to wear a bikini? Okay. Okay, just give me a couple of weeks to drop, drop a few pounds and look really sharp, and then, yeah, I'll wear that bikini for you. Yeah, is that what I do? Sure. Now it's a big problem. Bring back bikinis. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. We'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you check out Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes, as if this wasn't based enough. And uh, see you again tomorrow. <laughs>